Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Samantha and I am the Lux Wife. I'm so excited because as you see by the title, we are doing like one of those original videos that has been around YouTube forever. But what's in my bag video. These videos have been around so long and because I just launched my channel back late April, I don't have one. So because my purse is a mess, yes, it's a mess. You see, this is not a stage video and i needed to clean my purse i said you know what let's do a what's in my bag video for you guys so if you're new here you definitely want to go ahead hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell that way you could be notified every single time i upload a new video if you're not new here welcome back so guys without further ado let's go ahead and take a look to see what's in my louis vuitton armor pm so while i'm doing uh what's in my bag i'll just be talking just because i'll just be randomly talking i got this armor pm back in 2017 and as you see it is still in pristine condition it looks so good so gorgeous i got a hot stamp with my initial on the key cloche and um i added a twitty to it but i actually have a new one which i think i want to add on the purse and i think it's just going to change it up a little bit so it'll be super cute let's dive straight into it so be again it's a mess guys but we're gonna get it organized today okay so off the gate off top i everywhere i go i have a pair of sunglasses okay i got this sunglass case from amazon for i think like eight or nine bucks i'll link it it might have been 3.99 okay and i put my sunglasses in here these are a pair of tom ford sunglasses that i absolutely love and i keep them in here now you know sunglasses when you buy them they do come with a case but to me the cases are always bulky so i want to kind of find something that alleviates the bulkiness and so this is something that alleviates the bulkiness for one and for two my car also does have a sunglasses holder so if i am worried about them getting crushed or anything of that sort i can just take them out and put them in the sunglass holder in the car i just have to remember obviously to take them back out next i have is my keys you know you can't go anywhere without keys but you know anybody who has a push to start car knows as long as the car starts that's all that matters because that just lets us know that the keys are on us. They're somewhere on us. They're in our purse. They're somewhere, okay? So these are my key keys. This key clay, obviously, of course, is Gucci. It was something I got when I had got my previous car. But, I mean, it still looks good. And I still love it. It does what it's supposed to do. Six keys it holds. You see, I have my house keys and my car key. And that's, that's that. Not a stage. What's in my bag? Receipts from Popeye's receipts from uh, shipping stuff back for if i ordered something from zara and it didn't fit i had to send it back so obviously these can come out because i no longer need um i no longer need these inside of my purse i also have my louis vuitton wallet i got this wallet over a year ago maybe i'm going on two years now i got this wallet and i actually did a review earlier on my channel on louis vuitton small must have so you might want to go and check it out because it might be some informative information in there for you if you are one already in the louis vuitton you know family but if you're looking to get into the louis vuitton family i dropped some things in there that you just want to know and it's not just because i love the brand it's whether we should be investing in it or not also i have in here which also was in the video was my louis vuitton agenda i love this agenda so so much it is also organized look at the receipts falling out look at the receipts falling out. it is also organized i got my organizers from both the Etsy and the Amazon, and they just look so good. You see how it says the Lux Wife in there, and then there's another one towards the back that says Samantha. Um, it has three card holders here, and I ordered some stuff again from Amazon that allowed me to hold multiple cards in the inside. Also, I have a pair of AirPods just or just in here. Normally, they are clipped basically on the side of my purse just like this so I obviously don't lose them and sometimes I throw them in my bag because my kids like to play with them but you guys know if you know you know you need a pair of airpods it took me forever okay when I say forever I mean forever to basically invest in a pair of airpods and honestly I'm glad that I do because 
it's so perfect if i'm like editing videos and my kids are making noise i can just plop one in i can still hear them because i don't have the other one in and i can enter my videos watch them etc at the same time this is again of course a little gucci airpod case and i love it so much obviously unfortunately if i ever have to upgrade or something like that i lose the case but hopefully they keep the size the same okay but no one of these companies they they know how to keep making money. I also have in here just a random, just a, some a Trident gum. If you don't have some gum, something random, just to throw in your mouth when you need it, baby. I don't know what to tell you, okay? So I keep in here is my Louis Vuitton toiletry. And this, if you don't buy nothing else, this is so, so handy. I keep everything in here from like my Chanel mirror, my Chanel hand lotion. I can't wait to have like a party, exclusive party. And I get to like buy gifts for my members that are at the party. And I wanna be able to put like Chanel mirrors in there, a little Chanel hand lotion in there. It's it's gonna be that type of vibe, you know? And um, you know, just something to keep your lip gloss, nail file, nail clip, things of that sort in here. I do have like, you know, when you buy from designer or luxury places, brands, and you get like perfume and stuff, the small trial size. I have a bunch of those in here. I also have a few from like Zara in here, so I probably got this doing and sale for like $3.99. And then I have a few of like Louis Vuitton ones in here, as well as Burberry and as well as Hermes. And then I have basically like some chapstick in here. This is the Dior chapstick. And then everything else at the bottom is like some nail clippers that you just need. You just need clippers when you need them. You know, if you got to get something, you keep, you just need them. And you know, clippers sometimes can be dual as a pair of scissors. So look, see, 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 see. So I also have obviously sanitary napkins, which honestly I keep inside of here. So let's thank God I got that and just like you cards everywhere so let's go ahead and put the cards back inside of my wallet don't you hate sometimes when you go somewhere and you feel like you're being rushed by the person behind you and that's what happens a lot of times i feel like i'm being rushed by the person behind me or even if the person behind me isn't rushing if i feel like it's a long line i feel like it's the courtesy to just hurry up so as a courtesy hurry up i just throw the cards in the bag and i just say i'll straighten it out later these cards gonna make sure you use them okay and if i'm being honest with you i'm tired of using them i'm tired of spending my money so i ask the lord to continue to increase my territory so that way i am forever grateful to be able to have more okay I also have this little coach wallet in here. I was previously carrying my coach bag and instead of shifting everything to my wallet at once, I started shifting things one by one. And then I think I got sidetracked something for the kids and I never finished sorting everything out. And so I still have cars, a few cars left in here and my driver's license on here, which I'm going to go ahead and transfer now and put into my wallet. And I love this coach wallet, but unfortunately it fell out of my purse onto the ground in the garage. And my husband, when he went to go somewhere, he forgot it was on the ground and he ran over it. So it no longer buckles. It's just a flap. So, you guys tell me, what do I do? Do I try and have it repaired? Or I got it on sale Black Friday last year. So, I just don't know at this point what to do with it, considering that it no longer closes. D tell me in the comments if you like seeing these what's in my bag type videos. I don't always switch bags from time to time but when i do it's probably always a mess like this because i'm constantly on the go and this is like my little tripod that i use for like vlogging or if i'm just setting my phone up on the counter and i want to record something this was ten dollars ten dollars ten dollars and it was 
honestly one of the best investments I've ever made. Now, obviously holding your phone in your hand and recording is more discreet than holding this. But if I'm sitting down with I'm at a restaurant or again, if I'm at home recording in the kitchen or something like that, and I don't want to use my tall tripod, I can just put my phone on here and I can just set it down and just record. It's so perfect. So this never, ever, ever, ever leaves my purse or leave my car. It's just always handy and right next to me. I also have in here this Embrolease hand. It's like a vitamin E, aloe vera, hand cream, face lotion. It's like multiple things in one. I have never seen such a thing, but it is so good. When I tell y'all it's so good, when I tell y'all it is worth the money that they are asking for this you can even use it as a aftershave cream for men like this is so good and then at the bottom look another wallet why do i have another wallet in here why do i have another wallet in here i have this car holder in here and this is probably from if i switch to a tiny bag and instead of grabbing my entire wallet i just grab obviously a car holder and i put it in but this is super cute. I got this probably like 2018, I believe, for like a hundred and something dollars. But now card holders are so expensive. And then the very last thing I have in here is, I have for all of my bags, is basically like this purse organizer that I got from Amazon. They sell them on Amazon. They sell them on Etsy. They're honestly everywhere. I think they have a more expensive brand called Samorga or a Smor something to that effect. And honestly, I got this for under $20 on Amazon. And if I pay any more for it, I don't know how much the better the quality would get, you know, because you can get them to match the same color as the interior of your bag. But here's the thing to keep in mind. If you go dark, it's hard to see what's in your bag because the inside of the Alma is like this dark chocolate brown, right? So if I just throw everything in here, I can see, but it's kind of, it's kind of dark to see. However, because this is lighter, I can see everything I need to see. And then in the inside of it, you have a zipper pocket here. You also have two bigger pocket here. You even have card holder slots on here. So, I mean, I don't understand why you would have to get the expensive brand when this one offers everything you need in it. I, I don't know. I do eventually want to get the smaller size Alma, which is the Alma BB, but look at the time has gone up on pricing. I honestly, I just, I don't know if anything is worth it anymore. I like to keep this like off to the side just in case the top comes off. But I love things like this because these are the screw top versus the cap top. And it takes a lot to take a screw top off versus a pop cap top. So throw this back in here. AirPods, open them up and just click them off to the side here and now you guys i'm gonna just take this out so just so you can see exactly because if you're not vlogging or anything like that then obviously you don't need this but now that i've taken it out now you'll be able to see how my purse is pretty much organized with everything in it And the last thing I think I want to do, add on my new bandeau. So we're gonna take the current one off, which is super sleek. I don't know, should we take it off or should we keep it on? What should we do? Drop in the comments for me whether I should keep the black and cream on and put on the one with a little bit more color or take it off. I like to have something on the handles because you guys know uh, how the handles is if you got oil the water or anything like that but either way it goes i think it looks good that's that well guys we have made it to the end of today's video thank you so much for tuning in and again don't forget to drop in the comments with me what i should do about the bando should i keep it on should i take it off should i replace it with this one i'm not too sure let me know so that way i can keep going forward and using it but guys, until next time and until next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.